Welcome to the Sports Card Hustle. Hey everybody, this is Michael and I'm back coming to you with another episode on the Sports Card Hustle channel. That's right, I'm back. I am in my new studio. We are finally set up. We've got a few things to still put on up in the background behind me, but we are back up and running. And we are going to continue our artist spotlight behind the artists that have brought us the amazing Topps Project 2020, continuing on today with Gregory Sith. Before we get into the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below because it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and lets other sports card collectors, other sports card investors, other Art and Gregory Sith fans know that this video is for each and every one of them too. Now we're gonna get on into it because I'm sure you guys probably have seen the iconic cards that Gregory Sith has put out for Topps Project 2020, such as, such as his Cal Ripken Jr., his Derek Jeter, his Don Mattingly, his Tony Gwynn, and one of my personal favorites thus far, his Bob Gibson. This card personally to me looks like it's something from Mars and it's one of my favorite cards from the Topps Project 2020 set. But who is Gregory Sith? If you're just being introduced to him by the Topps Project, who exactly is he? Because he is one of the most iconic modern artists of our time. Now Gregory was Brooklyn born, but he is really truly LA based. And he is world renowned for his blend of pop art and abstract expressionism. Now he has done things for St. Laurent, the MoMA, Major League Baseball, my favorite sock company, Stance, Mercedes-Benz, and various other personal projects and collaborations around the entire world, making him one of the most sought out artists in the Topps Project 2020. Now he isn't just involved in some of the arts, he really has his hand in a little bit of everything because not only does he put out iconic pieces and collaborations, he also has a film, acting, and theater career as well, even though it's not the forefront of his career. This guy really is a dynamo when it comes to the arts in general. Now, as you can see right here on his Instagram feed, as we scroll down, he has a lot of different things to look at there, such as his Topps Project 2020 cards, his personal photography, and I definitely think you should check him out. But we're also gonna get into some of my favorite things that I've seen him done personally that I wanna share with each and every one of you. Starting with this very simplistic ice cold painting. Now, I really love this because if you live in Florida, you definitely have a thing for ices in the hot summer months. And to be perfectly honest, it's always a hot summer month, but it's very simplistic, something I would personally have in my kitchen and I would love to own, but I'm sure it's probably a little bit out of my price range right now, but you never know. But I love the simplistic nature of this piece and it really shows that even though he can do things such as the Cal Ripkins, the Nolan Ryans, the Bob Gibsons for Topps Project 2020, he can also bring it down to a very simplistic form and work with a limited color palette and make something that really captures your eye. Now moving on to a collaboration he's done with St. Laurent over here, you could see that he was a part of this specific campaign. This is a billboard he photographed and designed and it definitely has an artistic modern feel to it and it's something that if you're driving down the road it might just catch your eye and it shows his versatility as well he could do something as simplistic as ice cold but he also can move right on up to high fashion with saint laurent as you see right here now continuing on to the things i want to share with you that gregory sith has created is some of his photography that is very simplistic, such as this photograph of a girl photographing him. So it's me photographing you, photographing me, and we're just having a really great time. But it's very artistic, and you can see that he ranges from simplistic art to high-end fashion to photography that really strikes a chord with your emotions and is playful as well. 
And I think that's one thing that Gregory Siff put throughout Topps Project 2020, and, and that is his playfulness, as you could see with a lot of the cards he's done. Now, continuing on to some things you could actually buy from Gregory right now, if you head on over to his website, Gregory Siff dot big cartel.com as you can see right here on the screen gregory sith dot big cartel.com you can buy everything we're about to show you right now and it actually ties right in the tops project 2020 starting with this eleven hundred and ten dollar bomber blue tops project 2020 card don mattingly limited to 23. as you can see right here it is another take on the iconic don mattingly card and it's something that you can get for yourself that not everybody can have or will have because it is limited to only 23. 23 that's right i almost gave you 24 right there but it is limited to 23 and it is something that you could have for your personal collection that not everybody can have but it is quite the expensive card to say the least now moving on to something a little bit cheaper you can always get his gold autograph tops project 2020 1969 nolan ryan card which is a take on another one of the cards he did for the project. It is limited, it is exclusive, and it's personally the one I would want to own because it is a one of one. So if you want something that is yours and yours alone, this Nolan Ryan Top Project 2020 card, gold autograph, is the piece or the card for you, and it is something that is very unique in and of itself because anytime you own something that is one of one, you kind of feel just a wee bit special. Now moving on to the last thing I wanna share with each and every one of you today is another one that is limited to just one and that is the metallic blue autograph Cal Ripken Jr. card which is another take on the iconic card he made for Project 2020 and it is Cal Ripken's. Now this one is a one of one, and it is going for $1,000. So one of one for 1,000, but it's something that will be yours and yours alone. Again, you can always find it at gregorysith.bigcartel if you wanna get your hands on it. And it is something that will be unique to you and you alone if you own it in part of your sports card collection. Hey everybody, I really appreciate you tuning on in. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's been a minute, really just getting set up. I wanna show all the cards I have over here to the left, my bookshelf, some of the football art I own as well, and uh, just get everything hung and my background set up because we have been moving on into my new place. And I will say, first and foremost, moving is quite a, and it's also a lot harder than you expect. You never really realize how much stuff you own or how much you own until you start to move. So it has been a project to say the least, but I'm finally back up and running. I appreciate each and every one of you more than you can believe. I know the channel's been growing even though I haven't been posting as much. So thank you for that. Until next time, my friends, I hope you all stay safe, stay healthy, stay blessed. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Again, I really appreciate it. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and lets other people know that they should be watching these videos too. Thanks again, my friends. Until next time, peace out.